Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa and the eighth most populous in the world. With a population of over 160 million people with English as its common lingua franca. Nollywood has been typically accepted to have started immediately following the success of Ken Niboy's Living in Bandage, which was produced in the year 1992. And since then, thousands of movies have been released. The first Nollywood film was traditionally produced with analog equipment such as Betacam Epsby, HDV cameras, just to mention a few. But today, all Nollywood movies are produced using digital video technology. The Nollywood uprising started at the emergence of technology, digital videos, HD cameras and sophisticated lighting systems. But some people still have mixed reactions about the movie industry. Yeah, so far in Nollywood, I think we are progressing. Remember this, this industry just started a few years ago and look at where we are today, number three in the world. When we started this thing, there was no help. It was just like a child's play. We have done all these things by ourselves without the support of the government or the corporate bodies. Nigerians did not even know what these things, how the process of making these movies, they didn't know anything. But all of a sudden, one man just said, look, we can do this, we can do that, we can do this. And a lot of people came together and they were able to achieve it. You remember before when if you want to go, if you're acting either in school or anywhere, your parents will tell you, ah, you want to be useless, you want to go and start acting, those useless people that don't have work. But now parents pay a huge, they pay a lot of money just to get their children into Nollywood. So I will definitely say that Nollywood has surpassed expectations from myself because when you look at the world today, we are, we, have, we are even trying to overtake Bollywood right now, India. It is when you come in, when you get to location, when you see the day-to-day -day running of location, of how everything is done, that is when you come to appreciate this Nollywood. Some people will just buy a movie, put it in, and when they watch five, ten minutes, they will say, ah, what is this rubbish? Please remove this rubbish. No matter how rubbish the movie is, no matter how the movie is, Somebody suffered. If that movie you are calling rubbish is somebody's effort, at least appreciate the person then before you criticize the person. We have progressed a lot. What we just need is just that final touch for us to skyrocket there and meet Hollywood there. I think we are progressing based on the fact that our movies are being shot on high definition cameras. So we have a better picture quality compared to what we had before. Okay, Nollywood movies has been, um, has been great. They've been transforming from step to step, but it's not like um, the way it used to be. I could tell you like 12 years back, okay, 12 years back, I, I really used to be a, a big fan of Nigerian movie, movies. Okay, the likes of Igodo, the likes of Taboo and Living in Bondage. That's where you get to see movies. You know, it was so fun to me, but along the line, I started getting pissed with the kind of movies the Nigerian um, actors and directors and also script writers are bringing into the table. They keep giving us this love, 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 and the stories are not filled with suspense, no suspense, no intrigue, no, um, no action. But I can tell you guys, man, from 2011 and 2012, something caught my mind. And the movie that caught my mind was Jennifer at the cinema and along EJ. So what about Lost Number? <laughs> the movie was so exciting there. I started loving it. I started loving Nigerian movies this time where I can go to a cinema and I'll say, I want to see a Nigerian movie instead of seeing a white movie. Everything is, is going to the level I expect our movies to be. So I must tell you guys that the Nigerian movie, movie industry, the script writing, the directing, the professionalism they've added to it has really, really boost the industry right now. So for cinemas to be able to premiere our movies, I think professionals are now in the business. The movie industry is really, really progressing and I'm so happy for it. 
My name is Femi Gold, and I must tell you that Nollywood has actually been progressing. We're progressing because we've had a lot of things that have been happening to us. We've improved in every way. Uh, we've done our best. A lot of us have paid our dues. Now we've seen a whole lot of equipment come into place. We've seen uh, 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 high definition cameras, we've seen light, good lighting, we've seen a, a lot of equipment coming. And with it now, you see us producing very good. Uh, 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 movies and because of that the Nollywood industries are actually has actually labeled into this technology boost and we are actually moving forward with it you'll see that uh, Nollywood is actually progressing now the progress of Nollywood has actually not come overnight the progress of Nollywood has actually come uh, with the improvement uh, in technology it may interest you to know that Nollywood is, uh, is rated as the third best in the in, in the world uh, after the Bollywood and the Hollywood. It's gone uh, at the days where we use uh, a, a old fashioned way to do recording, but now we've gone, because of the technology input, we've, done, we've, gone, we've gone massive. We've had a lot of technology that been involved. We've got new cameras, we've got new equipment, we've got new lighting, we've got good things, good technology coming. We've got a way a different way of doing all our things. We've got the red camera, we've got the Canon, we've got all those things. Our technology has actually uh, helped in the, the, the progress of Nollywood. Yeah, technology has helped us so much in this industry. When you look at our picture qualities of then and the picture qualities we have now, our audio qualities of then and the audio qualities we have now, you will agree with me that technology has really done us a lot of help than harm. When, as at then, when this industry started, they, they were using uh, VHS, the one that uses uh, uh, VHS tapes. From there, we went to Betacam, from Betacam to uh, DV, from DV, now we, are, we went to HDV, from HDV to P2. Now, we're looking at so many quality cameras. We have RED, we have Panasonic, we have, with all sorts of sophisticated equipments. And now we're actually selling online too. They are part of technology. You see people who do their movies, they, they, they put the thrillers online. Instead of going to spend millions of money paying the TV stations, the radio stations to advertise for them, you actually have a lot of youths on the internet right now. They're always on the net, you know, with the, with the invention of Blackberry, iPads, iPods. You see people, most people don't even have time to watch television again. You see people, you send a broadcast message on Blackberry, you send a link where you can watch the trailer of a new movie. You see, and they are relatively cheap. You can now invest the money you were supposed to use on the advert. You invest it on the production and you get more value for your money. Technology has given us a kind of foundation for the growth or for the next level that Nollywood is about to get to. I discovered that the cameras and like most people use red cameras when they shoot some foreign movies and I'm so impressed that Nigerian directors and producers right now, they do bring in these cameras to do their own production right here in Nigeria. It's like you remember back then, you didn't have to advertise your, your movies online, you don't have to advertise, you don't have um, a link on Blackberry where people can assess them. You don't get to the cinemas and see Nigerian movies and the VHS, yeah. It used to be a VHS whereby you can slot a tape into a video player and you start seeing it. And when it's dirty, all you have to do is you bring it up, put some cleaner in it, and you clean it. Sometimes you just lose up the, the videotape and you start cleaning one after the other. But this time around, it's a different ball game. It's CDs and we have Blu-rays. And the high definition thing is really, really working right here in Nigeria. And I think it's doing our movie producers a lot of good and directors. So. It's easy for them right now to do stuff and it comes out good for the public to see. So I guess technology has been doing a lot. It may further interest you to note that Nollywood industry is being rated as the third largest after Hollywood and Bollywood. Yeah, the nature of this question is complicating because Nollywood is in a precarious position now very fragile. If it is well handled, it will skyrocket. But if this mismanagement we continue to face, those, these challenges we continue to face, if they are not addressed or if we don't handle them, 
we might see the fall of Nollywood from grace to grass. I am saying this candidly because I am a stakeholder in this industry. I know what it takes to make a movie. We have so many creative people in this country. So many creative actors, creative directors, creative cameramen, creative writers, creative producers that are ready to work. They are ready to give their best. But who is sponsoring them? They need the money to work. They need the, they need the, uh, they need conducive environment, conducive atmosphere to work. They need time to do all these things. But they don't have them. That is the problem. I meet people. I hear what people say. People will be like, ah, I don't like buying Nollywood movies. There are so many of them. You don't know which one to buy. You don't do this. You don't do that. And the next person will tell you, ah, oh, you guys have similar stories. You guys do this. Yes, because the people who are calling the shots in the industry are not movie makers. But when we have corporate bodies, when we have serious minded individuals, governments, who come in and say, okay, we want to invest this huge sum of money. We give you two years, three years to return our money, to return our profits. You see good movies coming out of Nollywood. That is when we actually get to criticize them. Not now, because the situation now, the condition now, you don't have to criticize them. You only have to give them kudos. A lot of people are actually investing now. We're not waiting for the government anymore. We've waited enough for them. There's a level people are expecting us to get to. We need all the support we can get right now, all the money we can get, all the conducive atmosphere that can be made available to us. We need them to get to that level. If we, could, if we can get them, fine. We can we will rub shoulders with Hollywood. We can surpass them. We have the talents. We have the people. We have talented directors, talented producers, writers, actors everywhere, littered everywhere, looking for that opportunity to showcase, to show what they have, what they can do. Some other corporate bodies are trying to see if they can come in, but I think they are not yet convinced. We've not yet convinced them, but they don't have to wait for us to convince them because most of these corporate bodies sponsor premieres abroad. And I know how much they spent on those sponsorship deals. So why not bring those money here and see what we can offer them? So if we don't work on these flaws, if we don't address these issues, Nollywood, I don't know, if we work on them, fine and beautiful, and that is what we are expecting, that is what we are praying for, and that is what we are working at. If we get to address all these things, I bet you Nollywood will definitely rub shoulders or might even support, uh, surpass Hollywood. But if we don't set all these things straight, we don't get to do all these things, it is RIP to Nollywood. Sorry about that. I like being real. In 2020, if the movie industry people continue the way they are doing right now, the way they're going right now, adding more technology to what they're doing, adding more professionalism into the business so that we can get the likes of what we see in Bollywood and also not Hollywood. So that's what we're looking at for. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that in 2020, we're going to be the biggest and we're going to get there. It's a gradual process. So. For me, I choose to see Nollywood improve. With good script writing, with good directing, good picture quality. In the nearest future, I see Nollywood taking over the world. We expect to see better picture qualities, good scripts, better directing, and Nollywood taking over the world. Although the Nigerian movie culture is not comparable to the Europe's and Americas, but it's improving and still has huge potential to improve. My name is Femi Gold. I'm proudly Nigerian and I'm proud of Nollywood. Nollywood, they are dying. My name is Promise Sodika. I am proudly Nigerian and I'm so proud of Nollywood. I rep and support Nollywood and it is Nollywood for life for me. I'm proudly Nigerian and I'm proud of Nollywood so far. My name is Clint Moore, not no more boy. I'm a TV presenter. I rep Nollywood. I'm a fan of Nigerian movie. I'm proudly Nigerian.